Well, hello there. Well, it's a beautiful day today. We've had a lot of rain up to now, but this is a, a Sunday and it's a beautiful day. And we're going to a, a ploughing match, which uh, I've never been to before. In the spring, we went to uh, uh, a heavy horse show, um, which I did make a, a short video of. Now, apart from uh, ploughing, there's other horse related activities going on. Uh, this one here is all about side saddles and uh, the, the tack and the saddles that they use and uh, how they ride side saddle. Now here's the first of the heavy horses. Uh, I believe one is called Arthur and the other is called Alfred. Now what I like about these, uh, uh, these events is that uh, they're not crowded. Uh, there's a few hundred people here. Uh, but it was easy to park and you bump into some interesting people. That's Rosemary Welsh, a famous horse painter. Now we're very lucky with the weather and uh, this little show has got a, a craft beer tent. So we're, we're going to try some of it and actually it was very good indeed. Now we've met up with some friends uh, and you can see we're all having a jolly good time. These uh, shows are full of interesting characters and it's a, it is a very rural show and uh, I think it's one of those nice things that you get in England uh, which perhaps you don't get in many other places. Now this is a, a demonstration of how before tractors and heavy machinery and chainsaws people had to uh, do these things by hand and with the help of heavy horses bit of a bit of help but you know imagine doing this all day every day that's your livelihood cutting trees down dragging them out of the forest there she goes hey. So there you go, the demonstration of now I've never seen uh, a heavy horse pulling a post out of the ground and it was quite a clever way that it did it. The, the chain was fixed to the bottom of the post and then it went over a plank so it pulled it from the top. When we're we're going to demonstrate how to load, load, um, how to load the log onto the, onto the carriage now this is a friend of mine Alan Langford and he is also a, a famous horse painter and he's always got his sketchbook and there's one of his paintings now here's a uh, quite a few dogs everyone loves dogs around here Now, because of the quite low sun at this time of the year, um, I've moved over to the, the other side of the ploughing field to get a better view of the, the ploughing. Now, it's quite amazing how they can turn these horses. Everything seems to be on voice command. And it is wonderful to see them ploughing. Apparently, um, the soil is in good condition for ploughing because uh, it's not too dry because of the rain we've had but uh, you can see what a lovely day it was. Now I don't quite understand all the rules uh, but it is a competition and they ha seem to have two um, long ploughed areas which each pair has two areas and they turn the plough and go back on the other area and gradually they will eliminate the grass that's in between these two rows and it gets narrower and narrower and I believe that part of the, uh, the winning of these uh, matches is that uh, the furrow is very straight and as they gradually the gap closes I noticed them going out there and measuring um, and pushing the odd uh, 
sod of soil back into its place. It, it really is quite um, a lovely thing to watch. Now you see he's turning them round. These two horses are beautiful. I believe uh, they're 14 years old. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little outing to uh, a ploughing match in southern England. Goodbye for now.